Hello and thank you very much for tuning in to another vlog. It is Tuesday today um, and I am on leave this week and the plan is to go, uh, the plan is a couple of things actually. I'm going to go swimming first of all in an outdoor pool which is about 20 or 30 minutes drive from where I live. Uh, I found out yesterday that it's just opened uh, with the Covid uh, restrictions uh, easing off a little bit. Um, it's a 50 metre pool, never been there before but um, I'm really keen to try it out because I haven't been swimming for um, probably well over six months now. So yeah, I'm going to get ready for that and uh, after the pool I am going to go for a run hopefully. Um, I'm not sure how I feel after yesterday's bike ride but I'm going to take it easy. I really want to take advantage of the weather because um, I said yesterday on yesterday's vlog, if you've not seen that check it out, but I said on that that the weather was amazing, well today it looks even better. And I think it's going to hit 20 degrees today, which um, is the nicest day of the year. So, um, yeah, I will update you as uh, I go along. I don't think I can film in the pool uh, without looking like a pervert. So I'll probably just um, uh, film in beforehand and then after to let you know how it went. But yeah, so I was saying before, I'm not entirely sure how today's going to go in terms of the swimming side. Back when I was swimming more regularly, which was one year ago, probably March, April, May time last year, um, I got I got really good at um, having the ability to swim lots of lengths, but I had to stop all the time. So I went from like doing 30 lengths really quickly up to doing 60, but I couldn't swim more than about six or seven lengths before I had to stop. So that's the problem obviously in triathlon because you are generally in a lake and there is nowhere to stop. Um, you can float around or you can do breaststroke but it's not, the, it's not really ideal is it? So um, I know I'm fitter than I was back in March last year um, but I haven't been swimming at all so um, I have no idea whether that's gonna, whether it's going to be a problem or not. Okay, it just arrived and um, I've seen two people um, wearing wetsuits so I think it's probably wetsuit conditions then judging from that I think uh, actually to be safe I'll probably wear the wetsuit and if I'd rather wear the wetsuit I need to take it off than vice versa put it that way so uh, we have 12 13 minutes till my session starts so I'm going to quickly get the wetsuit on and um, then get in there right just put the wetsuit on I was gonna put my heart rate monitor on but it does work on water but it's chlorinated I think so I don't want to affect it and I've read that chlorine can do that I feel like such a dick in this <laughs> yep. I swear to god this doesn't fit because it's so tight is that normal? I don't think this, this wet suit fits at all it just seems so tight around the shoulders and the uh, the neck area. I remember now when I was doing my triathlon last year that I just couldn't breathe with this on. Like it just cuts off my neck. I'm not sure that's normal or not. Let's get going. Right, I'm back in the car now and I have to say that was brilliant. Um, the pool complex itself is so nice. Uh, perfect day, perfect conditions. Um, 50 meter pool and I've got to say <laughs> they are long. Like compared to a normal pool, I know it's double, but it just feels never ending. Um, a few times with the Garmin, I had a few problems where it wasn't, it was either jumping ahead, for example, when I did 100 meters, it was saying I did 150 meters, but a few times I did catch up and it did sort of correct itself. But I don't know how accurate it was, but I put the stats on the screen now. I think it was 900 meters in about 32 minutes. Um, mix mixture probably 50 50 off breaststroke and uh, front crawl front crawl i just couldn't do much on it you know i couldn't i could do maybe two lengths in a row or three lengths in a row but uh it just got too much i think i need to either do more um get some coaching and i think just build up because i could feel it in my lats i could feel it in my shoulders all good stuff like it's just because i've not trained in swimming for ages but i remember when i started swimming last march it was exa exactly the same then and i progressed really quickly so yeah really good really happy i went um and it's a great start to the day it's only um 10 30 now so i'm going to drive the 30 30 odd minutes home stop uh for groceries on the way 
have a rest, have something to eat, and then go running a little bit later on. And we're back, um, half one now in the afternoon, and it's a glorious day still. And the plan is to go for a fairly gentle jog. I was thinking maybe a 10k, but two problems. It is very hot, uh, but secondly, my legs are feeling quite heavy probably from yesterday's riding, today's swimming, um, general load and also Sunday's long run as well which I forgot about. But what I've decided is I'm not going to get obsessed with distance or time, I'm just going to run and enjoy being outside because I think sometimes people just get obsessed with pace and time and Strava and all that rubbish so what I'm going to do is just enjoy the weather, take it easy and uh, just switch off for a bit and uh, go the flow really so I'll bring you back maybe towards the end. Wow, that is hot out there and I didn't really appreciate that as much as I should have really. Um, legs felt really heavy, um, pace was much quicker than I intended and I don't think that was because, um, I don't know, I wasn't even trying to go fast, I think I just couldn't go slow if that makes sense. But anyway, uh, I put the stats on the screen but 2.46 miles, uh, average pace 9.35 per mile uh, in 23 minutes. Um, really, really hard in fact, and um, I know in hindsight, and I knew at the time I probably should have rested, but uh, like I said, I just wanted to get out and do something and be outside. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. Um, it's been a really heavy few days with the Sunday long run, uh, Monday uh, 34 mile bike ride and the strength and conditioning, today the swim and now the run. Um, I do need to be careful I don't overtrain um, and sort of balance having time off, balance, wanting to be out with actually being productive with the training and not overdoing it. So I'm going to try and recover, I'm going to um, have some electrolytes, something to eat, um, maybe some stretching as well and um, see how I feel tomorrow. Um, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time, bye for now.